misses it intentionally. Rebound Holmgren, three-quarter court, Jalen Williams, no, and the Dallas Mavericks for the second time in three years are going to the Western Conference Finals. It nails the first two free throws to give Dallas the lead, misses it intentionally, so the clock starts as soon as Holmgren gets the rebound. They don't get a good look. The series is over. The Thunder season is over, and Dallas is moving on, coming back from 17 points down to win the series four games to two. The OKC Thunder were, in my opinion, the surprise team ahead of schedule this year. So impressive what they were able to accomplish. But right now, this is about the Dallas Mavericks. What they have done in the last two years, not making the postseason last year, drafting Derek Lively, bringing in Gafford and P.J. Washington at the trade deadline, really solidifying this team, and it has them back in the Western Conference Finals. Third straight triple-double for Luka Doncic, 29 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists. Gilgis Alexander at 36 in the defeat. And for the second time in Luka's six-year career, he'll go to the Western Finals. Derek Lively, tremendous. And as he looks to the sky, you might recall, Derek lost his mother, Kathy Drysdale, to cancer just a month ago at the age of 53. Lively was terrific, had 15 rebounds, 12 points, made a couple of big free throws. And let's check in with Cassidy. Luca, as you walked over before you embraced Kyrie, I saw you look to the sky, almost exhausted. What are you feeling? What did you discuss with Kyrie about how you guys closed out this game to advance to the Western Conference Finals? And say confidence in this team. Uh, it's me and Kai, we started that. But the whole team, amazing, amazing comeback, amazing effort, uh, this team special. And how about P.J. Washington? We're pretty much quiet throughout the game and then coming up clutch down the stretch. How do you describe what he was able to do for you guys in order to get this win? You can't describe, man. Him and D. Jones, those are our dogs. And they're, they're amazing. Every game, never complain once, never nothing, just play hard, hope. And have fun, man. Those, those are the kind of people you need on your team. And sure, this series was about two MVP contenders and you and Shea. But what about the rookie centers and the matchup that Derek Lively had and what he did today on the boards for you guys? Yeah, we don't win this series without d uh, He's been playing amazing uh, for rookie, not being scared. Uh, it's insane how he played, uh, the way he impacts the game. Uh, so just, just amazing, man. And Luca, going back to the conference finals for the second time in three years. You've talked about how this team is fun for you guys, and it's only been a couple months. Why is this conference finals going to be different for you? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we're going to go against a really hard team. It's either Denver or Minnesota. Uh, but today, I think today we should enjoy this win. Uh, big respect to OKC. They have an amazing team. They're very young, but it don't seem they seem very experienced. Uh, obviously, Shai, it's, it's amazing the way he plays. Uh, so big respect to them. Uh, so today we're going to celebrate this. And then tomorrow, well, tomorrow I'm gonna, we're going to rest. Uh, but then we got to watch the game seven of that and just be ready for next game. Luca, congrats on the win and good luck in the Western Thanks. Conference Thanks. Finals. Back to you, Dave. Two years ago, Cassidy, they lost in five to the Warriors. Will things be different in 2024? We've got a game seven for you tomorrow on ABC from Madison Square Garden. The Knicks and the Pacers. 3.30 tip time. The countdown crew starts us at three. So the Mavericks 